Now, Radio Winchcombe, I am very excited to bring on my next guest. Uh, one of my favourite people, and I'm sure you would all agree, she has had us uh, in tears with laughter on Gogglebox, and she just seems like a nice, genuine soul, and I'm really excited to bring my next guest on the show. So, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let's say hello to Sandra Martin. Hello. Hello, everybody. Hi, good morning, good morning. How are you? What a lovely... Um, to I'm happy. I think today is a day where everyone's voting in the world. Everyone's what? Sorry? Voting. Today's a voting day. Okay. So I've just told my 120,000 fans to vote for me today on I, Twitter. I think they should, definitely. <laughs> um, I wanted to ask, <laughs> uh, you became a household name when you burst onto our screens on yes. Gogglebox. But how did you find the transition from being unknown to suddenly being watched by millions, being stopped in the street? Yeah. How, how did you kind of deal with that and how did you feel about it? Well, I'm actually, I'm so coping with that now as we speak. Because even though I'm no longer on, on TV at the moment, I've been, I'm still being stopped every day. I am more famous than ever. Every day from Gogglebox, from five years now, every day it's, I'm coping very well, actually. Because you, you, you are very loved. well. I mean, I, because I, everybody sees me as a normal person. Mm. It's nice that um, the, the public, right? There's a lot of celebrities that don't walk on the streets or go on the bus, or go on the train, or go in Tesco's. It's lovely that people can see a celebrity slash famous walking on the streets and doing normal things every day, and they can take a selfie. And, it, and it's like an everyday thing. And you do. I, I see on your Twitter, you're stopped all the time. People absolutely love bumping into you. Every I, I know day of my life. You, you do a lot in Birmingham as well, don't you? Yes, I'm in Birmingham. Well, I'm in London now because I've got a gig on tonight. I've got a gig on tonight. I've got a gig on. And I do special, even though, like I said, I do special parents and charity work. So I've got a, a, a special parents tonight, tomorrow, Saturday, Sunday and Monday. So I'm in London now, travelling. And I, what, what I did want to ask you is, obviously you appeared on the show with the lovely Sandy, um, who you're very close to. Do you, yes. still, do you still both stay in touch with yes. each other? Yes, I do. I speak to Sandy every other day. She's working, but she's more doing more celebrity work. Okay. I'm just, like, she's more in the um, TV eye, but I'm not. I'm just on doing charity work. I'm the ambassador for SSN. Right, I work with Terminal Children at the moment. I just do a lot of charity work at the moment, a lot of charity work. That's all I'm doing. And also, um, I'm with um, my manager, um, Luke Brett from Hastings. Yeah, we're going out later on to another charity event. So it's non-stop at the moment for you. It sounds exciting. You've got lots of different non -stop. things coming up. I'm booked out. Yeah, I'm booked out till next year, May 19th. Wow, so that's, Every month that's a hectic schedule. And we, yeah, we. But um, go. I was gonna say we've recently seen you actually appear in ITV in the series One Hundred Years Younger. Um, Years younger. When when you were first approached for that, how what kind of went through your mind? Because it's quite a personal show, isn't it? Yeah, it was because I was with um, seven other top celebrities. Yeah. That's been in the t celebrity world for over 30 odd years. And obviously ITV wanted me to join them. Oh, we man. filmed it last year when I was in 21 Days in Sardinia. And obviously it came out February. Yeah, that was a very great exper experiment. I enjoyed it. But, uh, but apparently after the 21 Days, when I got on the plane to came home, I went straight into Burger King. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. that, that that's my kind of, some my kind of to, thing. Some went to the curry house, some went Chinese. I went straight into Burger King <laughs> last year as we all came off the plane. Did, did you make any friends <laughs> with it was, the others? I, I do know how to live healthy. I know how to live. Yeah, I still speak to Russell Grant, um, the woman. I, I, I speak to a few of them still, yeah. I have, the, all, I have all their numbers. Oh, wow. Obviously, everyone's doing their thing, you know what I mean? So, but yeah, I mean, but um, I'm very happy now. 
Oh, you know? You seem very I've happy. I, to live now. I do follow you, and you seem very happy. Yeah. Which is good. Um, so, um, just hopefully one day I might get back on TV again. Who knows? Do you have any upcoming projects and plans that, that involve TV? Have you got anything in the pipeline yes, that I've you can tell us about? Yeah, I've got big one, yeah. Yeah, I've got big plans. Any, any you can talk get about? get my own or... show. Well, no, I'm just, I'm doing my own thing at the moment. I've got no agent or nothing. I'm unemployed, you know. I'm, 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 I mean, um, I'm, on, I'm on benefits. As you know, I told the whole world on Loose Woman and Lorraine. I'm on benefits at the moment, but I'm still looking for work. Yeah. You know? When and when you I did Google Box, benefits for long. Obviously you were booked doing loads of different well, things and you had a lot of money coming in. So how do you feel from going to having that lifestyle to now being unemployed? How what, what what's the transition? Yeah. How do you find it? Well Yeah, well listen, I'm glad you said that. Because you see, when Google Box found me five years ago. I found out being on having all that money, I am not money oriented. That is why I gave it all away. Well, I mean, I gave it all away. I just spent it. I was overwhelmed having so much money, but I'm back to normal now, and I'm used to. I mean, like, I, I'm not money oriented. I found out I'm not money oriented, but I'm still the same. I'm still looking. I'm still looking good. I got my nails done. I got my hair done. I'm still living the same way like I was on Google Box having that money but you're just yeah. you're, you're real with it you you've, you've had that fun you've enjoyed yeah, yourself but you're yeah. doing you all right i'm not real. getting all that money again yeah. yeah i'm not getting that money again but i'm still the same way i eat the same way i buy my clothes it has not changed whether i had money or now because i've got the same thing now well if I'm you get my drift it's been amazing chatting to you, and that's what I love about you. You're so real, you're so down to earth, and that's why you have so yeah. many hundreds so of thousands of people. Look out for me. We definitely will, and I look forward to your upcoming Thank projects. You, and and anybody wants me to do any charity work or special appearance, Google me, Twitter me, Facebook me, and I'll be there. I don't charge, but it's charity. Oh, that's absolutely fantastic. That's so nice what you do. But anybody wants me to come and support them, to support their children, birthdays, christenings, weddings. I've got two gateways this year that I'm going to. Special appearance. I don't ask for no money. I just like to just be there. Oh, well. And it does me wonders. Well, hopefully. If anybody in your area wants that, contact me. I'll tell, contact you and book me. <laughs> Perfect. We'll def well I'd love to get you back <laughs> on the show and we'll we'll keep promoting these different things that you're doing and thank you so thank much you for joining much. us. Thank you. Thank Take care. Thank you. Okay. Thanks. Bye bye. All right. Bye.